as of late, I've been genuinely impressed with the work going into better supporting NVIDIA on Linux. You've got the new Nova drivers being worked on by Red Hat. Then there is the explicit sync merger. Then we have NVK being ready for prime time. And we cannot forget the NVIDIA GSP firmware merger, along with supporting the firmware. And all of this stuff is being done by the open source space. But NVIDIA themselves with their proprietary driver is working to make things better. They're going slowly, but it is happening. And we can talk about all this stuff all day, but there is one project that's been here all along, and that project is Novo. But even though Novo has been around for so long, it still does have modern problems. For example, last year, when very long-time maintainer Ben Skeggs, and at the time Red Hat employee, posted this on the mailing list. I have resigned and will no longer be taking as active a role in Novo development. Along with a follow-up email. Hi all, as you may have gathered from a maintainer's patch I just sent out, I have resigned from my position at Red Hat and will be stepping back from Novo development. This is a personal decision that I've been mulling over for a number of years now, and I feel that with the GSP RM greatly simplifying support of future hardware and the community being built around NVK, that things are in good hands, and this is the right time for me to take some time away to explore other avenues. I still have a personal system with an RTX 4070, and I've been using the Novo GSP RM code for the past couple of weeks, so chances are I'll be poking my nose in every so often. I wish everyone the best and look forward to seeing the progress you all make on Novo in the future. Happy hacking, Ben. And no matter who it is, it is always sad to see people move on. Some people stick around in the project for their entire life, people like Linus Torvalds. But a lot of people out there, they work on something for many years and that eventually they just want to do something else. Maybe they move to another job because they want to have better pay, a better location, better benefits, or really any other number of reasons, or maybe just they feel kind of burnt out working on this project. Now, when this happened, everyone was basically pretty much just saying, hey, thank you for doing all this work you've done. You've been great at this. This is awesome. Go live your life. All that sort of stuff. Everybody was in support of whatever his future endeavors were going to be. And at the time, this seemed very sudden. It wasn't clear what prompted this, where he was going, why he was going to do this, what he was going to do next, or any of these basic questions, he was just moving on and doing something else. As such, there was a bit of coverage from outlets like Pharonix. The maintainer of the NVIDIA open source Novo Linux kernel driver resigns. And this is pretty much just going over the email and what he's done in the past, but didn't really answer any more than that. Now, considering Ben's background, having worked on Novo for However many years, reverse engineering NVIDIA GPU drivers, being an ex-Red Hat employee for God knows how many years, he's kind of a no-brainer hire by basically any major tech company. IBM directly instead of being in their subsidiary Red Hat, AMD, or what about NVIDIA? Because that's where he's working now, and it's not like he announced that he's working at NVIDIA. The reason why we know is he made a kernel patch set. This is 156 patches, and uh, we can see what email it came from. Bskegs at NVIDIA.com. And NVIDIA doesn't just hand out these emails to anybody. This is an employee email. So this patch set is DRM Novo replace IOCTL interface between DRM slash NVKM. And as I said, it is 156 patches. This is a series of cleanups that I intended on doing after posting the initial GSP RM support several months ago, and have now had the opportunity to work on again. The main intention here is to replace the IOCTL-like interface that sits between NVKM and the Novo DRM driver with more direct calls to reduce the call chain complexity and overhead. Now, 156 patches by itself is already a lot to go over. But it's also 10,000 lines of changes. Now, for the record, that is a lot of things to change in a single patch set. And generally, it's a good idea to break something like that up into a series of different patch sets so it's a lot easier to review. 
Now, I don't know why he dropped all of it at once. My best guess would be a lot of the changes would rely on other changes being made. So it just makes sense to release all of it and then go from there to make sure there's no merge issues or anything like that. Just even though it's going to take a long time to review, get it all up on the mailing list and then go from there. Whatever the reason, it is what it is. Now, considering that whole job change from Red Hat over to NVIDIA and now using an NVIDIA email to commit this code and the whole stepping away from the project for six months after being a maintainer for God knows how many years, somebody would say, hey, Ben, um, what's going on? What's up with the change? What's going to happen here? Uh, no, <laughs> no. Dave Ailey said, welcome back. Do you have a git tree with this in it? Since I think at least patch 25 got stuck in moderation. Have you tested Novo GL and NVK on top of this? And this other dev Danilo said, Hi Ben, welcome back from my side as well. That's it. That's it. No other discussion. Nothing. Just that. And from then on, the rest of it is just technical discussion about the patch set, whether this is a good idea, what should be done, how can we change it, and that's pretty much it. This is not being given the credit it really deserves. This pointed out well by Carol Herbs. Bskegs at NVIDIA.com. I emoji. Yes, it's all been a secret plan to infiltrate NVIDIA and get people to work on Novo instead from the inside as our previous plans apparently haven't worked. This is obviously a joke. But it is very important to point out. This isn't just Ben Skeggs coming back to the Novo project. This is an NVIDIA employee working on the Novo project. NVIDIA traditionally has been very hands-off with Novo. It's a community project and they do their thing. We're NVIDIA, we do our thing. We're not gonna mess with Novo, at least not directly, but we're certainly not gonna help them. But at the same time, this sort of lack of interest in the open source drivers has been a major cause of problems. For example, the whole GSP firmware situation. That was caused entirely by NVIDIA changing how they manage firmware and not really wanting to provide support to the open solution because the open solution isn't their problem. It's not their project. And this caused the general slowness of support of newer NVIDIA GPU generations and frankly gave the open source drivers the really bad reputation they have nowadays because there is a good number of NVIDIA generations which, for a long time, simply could not be supported well, and there still are some generations which don't fall under the GSP firmware, which simply just don't work well with the open drivers and are never going to. But now it's different. Now we have someone on NVIDIA's payroll working on the Novo project, submitting patches to Novo. Yeah, he used to do it at Red Hat, but now he's doing it at NVIDIA. This is a very different situation. It is only logical to assume that he is doing this work as part of his role at NVIDIA. Even if he's just some random grunt at NVIDIA, which no shot that's the case with his resume. There is no doubt in my mind he is working on something related to GPUs. It would make no sense if he was doing anything else. But let's just assume that he is doing something else. Just by being at NVIDIA, it puts him in a situation where documents can be shared with him that cannot be leaked out to the Novo project, that cannot be leaked out to the reverse engineered GPU drivers. Unless he's doing it in an official capacity directly for NVIDIA. Let's think about a similar example, the Asahi Linux project, the project that Linux running on the Apple Silicon. If you've been within a hundred miles of Apple code, if there is any little possibility that you've worked for Apple, you've worked as a contractor, you've seen internal code that shouldn't be seen by the public, you are not allowed anywhere near the Asahi Linux code base. They don't want your code, they don't want to see it, they don't want any chance of Apple coming after them. And the exact same is going to be true in the case of NVIDIA. Unless you're doing it in an official capacity. I have no idea if it's his main duty or just a very small part of it. Whatever it is, 
it is completely inconsequential if NVIDIA is actually putting a developer officially on Novo, this is way more than NVIDIA traditionally has ever done. Because even if NVIDIA is not willing to share internal documentation on how these drivers work, if some of that is allowed to be shared with the Novo project through the patches being submitted by Ben, that's a massive step in the right direction. My assessment of the situation is NVIDIA wants to get more involved, and now they have Ben on their payroll, they have a long-time Novo maintainer. So they can use someone who is familiar with the project, who knows how it all works, to submit patches on their behalf and sort of get a foot in the door. Because if they brought in a completely new maintainer, they would need to learn how the code base works. But Ben already has that prior knowledge, so that makes it a lot easier to take that first step. I hope this is a step in the right direction, and we see more support of the open drivers from NVIDIA. I don't ever see the proprietary drivers going away, but if NVIDIA actually wants to support the open solution, that's a good thing for everyone. Now, I have seen some people say, Triple E, embrace, extend, extinguish, like happens, in every situation where a company gets involved in an open source project. I don't see how that could possibly happen because if it did, they just kick him out of the project. And never forget that whilst we think of AMD nowadays as this really friendly company to the Linux world, that wasn't always the case. And if Nvidia starts making steps in the right direction, slowly over time, 10 years from now, maybe, we will think of NVIDIA as a company that actually has changed. They haven't yet, but they're making steps in the correct direction. So, let me know your thoughts down below. Why do you think Ben Skeggs is back on the project? Do you think it's in an official capacity? Do you think he's just doing it in his free time? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, sleep, verify, link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I'm still not buying an NVIDIA GPU.